Assemblymember Brian Dolly, uh, a true environmentalist. He is a seed farmer. He attends our environmental caucus meetings on a regular basis and uh, is the resident um, go-to person for looking at our uh, forests and how to keep them from burning up. And we've had a large increase in fire. And we had, and just in my district last year, we burned over 300,000 acres, which will take a long time for it to um, have vegetation back on there to stabilize the, those meadows and those forested areas. So has there been any talk about how we uh, take a look at the watersheds above the dams and try to figure out um, how to rewater those meadows and open that forest up uh, and get it fire res resilient so that the fire d doesn't... Um, you know, take out huge landscapes. The thought that we can just walk away from these forested areas and, and not do anything when we've um, supp suppressed fire for over 80 years and we have overgrown fuel, uh, too much fuel loading out there, what is going to be the policy to, to deal with fire? And can you actually go in and, and mitigate that by thinnings? And what's happened is the, the forest used to burn every 10 to 15 years naturally before we came along and uh, clear cut the forest used it to build our cities and um, put, put lagging in the mines. And uh, so what happened then is the forest grew back and then we suppressed fire. And so what happens is we have a forest that's shade tolerant with too much fuel in it. And when lightning strikes or uh, man uh, caused fire starts, so we have catastrophic events. That was because it was thinned and the fire came and laid down on the floor, burned through the forest. And then when it hit the untreated areas, it annihilated the, the, the forest taking all the trees out, that we can manage our forest effectively and reduce carbon and help the wildlife and increase the water yields. What we have now is a forest that's not resilient to fires. This bill is critical to help forest management and prevention of wildfire, especially with the millions of dead and dying trees in our forest. It creates jobs with a myriad of co-benefits to wildfire, air quality, and water supply. Thinning our forest will reduce firefighting costs and create more water that flows to all of our districts. This bill does not address the number one carbon, black carbon polluter in the state, which is forest fire. Today, as we sit on this floor in Butte County, 64,000 acres are burning up. I've worked on forestry issues from day one that I came here. And, you know, the real, the real headwaters issues that we have where we have a forest that is overgrown and overstocked due to our suppression of fire for almost 100 years. For the six years that I've been here, I've been talking about fires and, you know, representing a forested district and our watersheds. Um, you know, we've put ourselves in this position. 